G'day everyone, it's Omidex here and welcome to another video on this channel. In this episode I want to talk about the 4-3-2-1 formation, but a special one at that. These tactics are inspired by the way pro players use this formation in pro tournaments. So buckle up for a very sweaty and strong 4-3-2-1 setup. So without further ado, let's get to the tactics. You can see the numbers on your screen and it's very similar to what most of the pro players I saw in the pro tournament were using. You could increase the depth to 61 or 71 if you wanted to, but the thing is in a very sweaty hard game, it might get your team more vulnerable to counter attacks. 61 or 71 depth could help you win those easy games faster and easier, but you're gonna win them nonetheless. This setup is specifically designed for those sweaty and very hard games. Now on to the player instructions we go. Your striker and one of your wide forwards should be on stay central, get in behind and stay forward. Now keep in mind this formation is gonna defend in a 4-4-2 so we have more numbers in the midfield when we are defending. And for that reason our other wide forward is gonna be on stay central, get in behind and come back on defense. This player is gonna come back and defend as a left midfielder for us. Now your central center mid aka your CDM, you should put your most defensive midfielder here. It's gonna be on stay back while attacking, stay on edge of the box for crosses and cover center. The center mid next to the winger we have on comeback on defense is gonna be on stay back while attacking and cover center. Now finally the final center mid who's gonna be a right midfielder when we're defending and sort of plays as a cam when we're attacking. This player needs to be on absolutely default. Keep in mind you should play an attacker here in this role and if you're playing an actual CM they need to be really good at attacking and if you can have someone with finesse shot plus trait, mmm perfect here. You probably know the rest, the more attacking fullback we have on balanced and overlap while the most defensive fullback should be played at stay back while attacking and overlap. Last but not least, your goalkeeper always comes for crosses and default. Now let's jump to some gameplay and get this baby going. The 4-3-2-1 is all about motion. You have an attacker that comes back and helps defending and runs forward. You have a midfielder that plays on balance and goes forward when you're attacking. And finally, you have a fullback that's on balance and goes forward as well. So you have three layers of runners. One early, one mid, and one late run. Basically, very few other formations provide something like this in game. When defending, this formation transitions into a 4-4-2 automatically if you have followed all of the setups that I mentioned. Why we make it that way is 4-4-2 is one of the most balanced formations to defend in. By default, this formation is a 3 midfield setup which is amazing for killing any formation like 4-4-2, 4-2-3-1, you just outnumber them in the midfield. Well, center of the midfield that is. And finally, it's the perfect balance between a wide formation and a narrow formation. You got some width, but not too wide, and you got some players close to each other, but not too close that they're in each other's way. All in all, regardless of what formations you enjoy using in this game, one of your four existing tactics in a game should be a 4-3-2-1. It's just as simple as that. This formation is too good to just not have on your setup. You've played this thousands of times, you've played against this formation a thousand times. There's a reason why everybody is using it. Well, watch the rest of the... <clears throat> oh my god, voice crack. <laughs> watch the rest of the clips and if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like i'll see you at the end of this video
that's it for today's episode thank you everybody who watched this video so far the support on the channel has been amazing lately this is the end of this episode and hopefully i will see you on the next one cheers <laughs>